take a moment to explain just what's going on right here uh because i didn't do much explaining i busted that one red oak i was trying to i it worked i mean i was swinging it off the road it was leaning out over the road so i kind of <laughs> was getting through there and saw it open a little bit and i kind of just uh wussed out and i got away from it but um so what i'm doing is trying to get anything cut my loader's gonna sit right about where that stump is that'll be the butt of the loader so i'll have pulp wood piled out to here so the idea is to get rid of anything that can hit my log piles hit my log loader anything like that when i go to start dropping this stuff so i'm gonna have to turn that one loose and this one loose that one i'll be all right with honestly i might not even have to turn that loose i can drop that up the hill later on right 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 look at that uh, ain't that ugly uh, but uh i'm not quite sure this one's gonna go yet although it might be yeah i better cut this one too crapola hard to tell from this view but I don't really like cutting a black oak like this because they're it just spooks me a little bit especially when they're this big because it's uh, black oaks brittle especially in the spring and uh, you know these trees are leaning out like this you know they're leaning out over that valley there and they're so big there's so much weight and they kind of just I just don't want the back to blow apart on me or anything like that so that's why I seem a little uneasy on these
Oh, that's some thunder, ain't it? Wow. You see that spear? I come out of I come out of this one up here. Hold on. I, oh, I got sorry. I'm staring up into all the crap. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so that thing right there come out of that. Do you see how that thing popped, man? Wow. That's a big black oak there, buddy. That's a chunky log. But you see how I did that? I've explained that before. I'll punch each side, walk around, and your tension side, you know, your tree's leaning that way. So I'll come around this way, come around this way, and I'm leaving a tab. And nine times out of 10, especially in black oak, when you do something like that, you leave that long strip. If you get the middle, it'll pull out of the out of the stump section and not out of the log itself because of how the grain's flaring and you won't have to worry about no fiber pull so that's a big log man i don't i ain't gonna be able to move this with the dozer i don't think unless i break it down into short sections don't have to top it i mean look it topped itself just kawam I gotta get that up out of here though. All right. <laughs> Some big stuff in here. That's, that's something. Okay, so uh, I got everything that'll hit the loader out of the way. That's, see, there's a little finger of like borough or township property there. And that's, we don't know what's gonna happen with that tree yet, but that's one that we can lay in here. Uh, you know after the roads in because the loader will be clean back here so if i have to i can lay that in there those two are probably going to have to go they're both leaning that way out towards the road so they're probably going to have to be climbed topped out you know and then just the stems dropped uh they're going to come in and grind these all these stumps and then we'll build a shale we're going to haul some shale and we're going to build a landing hold on we're gonna build a landing in. It'll probably be, I want the butt of my loader about right here. About right here. So the road will be over that way more. And I have all this room for, for log lay down. Put the bucks off the back corner like that because the majority of the wood is straight back there. So it'll be feeding in nice and straight because I don't want these coming in crooked because they're so big, I, I'm not gonna be able to manhandle them with the loader. But that's, uh. That's the plan. Unfortunately, I can't go willy-nilly today. I gotta wait till we get a landing built. Um, like I said, we'll strip the topsoil and build a nice landing in here. And uh, yeah, buddy, that'll be it. So stay tuned.